Kenya. Sindio, kinde moti mwe gusaga. Ni arutaga wera mwega kererembe. Motiyo nako guo nagi arome kuhu. Mofore rei karove kenge. Thank you very much. Mweshimu wa naibu wa rais kiongozi wetu. Mweshimu wa speaker viongozi wenzangu. Adua ya mwure aro. Mwure aro lege. Mwure aga. Kaine mwure aga. Na hede shio the. Mutike gede shio lena wana niyagosho. Mweshimu wa naibu wa rais mimi ni mefurai sana. Kuadamana na wei hapa kwa sababu. Yale maneno tumeambiu hapa na watu ya embu. Wewe umejua sisi. Eh, awa niongeze. Wewe umejua sisi kama viongozi na kina ses. Na karebu watu na kuwabiaga mambo ya ukweli. Kwa sababu yale ambaye tunakuambia kina siku. Maneno ya watu ya embu na watu ya mautikinya. Di wamesema hapa. Na walikuwa na mpangilio mzuri. Tumetembea katika forumu hizi mingi lakini mpangilio ilikuwa nzuri sana. Mimi ningetaka nimuhakikishie siku raibu wa rais amenichukua kaniambia nikuje tumsaidiane. Amenipatia instructions tuungane na hawa viongozi, speaker wetu Moses Kuria na wale wengine tuanze kupanga mambo ya uchumi. Na hiyo kazi imeanza na tumefurahia kwa sababu yale mmesema leo imerahisisha kazi yetu. Kwa hivyo sisi tumeanza mpangilio ya mambo ya GMR guaranteed minimum return ya kahawa, majani chai, maziwa, miraa, mchele, vyakula ya hot kacha na nina matumaini ya kwamba tukisunguka kabla ya twende uchaguzi naibu wa rais ataweza kutangaza bei zile ambaye itawekwa kwa mazao yetu kwa serikali ya Kenya kwanza. Ya pili, your excellency kazi ulituambia tuanze ulisema utaweka 50 billion ya kusaidia wafanyabiashara. Dio waweze kukopeshwa pesa ile mama mboga alikuwa analia hapa na sisi tumeanza kuogea na hao viongozi wetu waanze kusaidia watu wetu kuuda sakos. Dio wakuwe tiari. Kwa sababu unajua hii pesa ikija itaenda kwa wale watakuwa nini? Tiari. Na nyinyi watu ya ebu ni watu bomechanuka muko mbele. Kwa hivyo hao viongozi wasaidiane na nyinyi kwa sababu pesa hawezi kopeshwa mtu binafsi itakuwa ni ile mambo ya sakos. Your Excellency umetuambia na tumekubaliana katika Kenya kwanza. Respect for every business. Kila biashara iheshimike. Ile ndogo, ile ya katikati hata ile kubwa. Na hasa hawa watu wa chini mama mboga, boda boda, watu wale wana shushainas na wale wote. Unajua hapo mwaka wa 2018 tulikuwa na shida kubwa na hii waziri anaitwa Matia Ngimuti ya Kiburi. Siku alikuwa anataka kusema hii vijana bodaboda ni wezi na ni wakora. Na tukamwambia akwame na akakwama. Na amekwama mpaka wa sasa. Na hizo biashara zitapata heshima ile ambaye inatakikana in your philosophy that every hustle matters. Your excellency pia tutangazie hawa umetuagiza. Zile project zote mlianza na Rais Uhuru Kenyatta ya barabara ya maji ya stima kabla hii mtu ya kitendawili alikuja akasimamisha kila kitu umetuambia tuanze kusanya na kuweka proper record na documentation kwa sababu unataka ukiingia within three months zile project zote mlikuwa mmeanzisha na president wetu kabla huyu mtu ya kisirani kutuingilia kazi ikakwama zote tumeanza mpaka hapa embu we have started documenting all the stored projects so that by the time you get into office ni kuingia na kuanza kuchapa kazi so that those projects can go on pia your excellency vile ulituambia mambo ya feeder roads they are being mapped ya kwamba ni makosa wakulima kulima chakula alafu ikose kufika sokoni kwa sababu ya barabara hizo barabara za huko ndani the small feeder roads hiyo kazi tukiwa nao viongozi inaendelea Dio ya kwamba kazi ukiingia tukiwa na wewe kazi inaanza mara moja. Na sasa sisi tunapanga kazi. Ule kitenda wili ameambia msaidizi wake apange katiba. Saa ile sisi tunapanga vile kazi itaanza wanapanga vile rege itafanya nini? Itaanza. Sasa wale wanapanga rege sisi tunapanga nini? Sasa you are excellent pia vile ulituambia mambo ya hao vijana wetu ambao hawana kazi. Employment for our young people. 
hiyo kazi Moses Kuria na wengine saa hii hawalali mpango utapata kamili tukifuatana na matakwa yako ya kwamba lazima program ya housing ianze ndio tutengeneze hao vijana ajira na tukipitia hapo ya mwisho pia ningetaka kuchukua nafasi hii naibu wa rais ametuambia he is unhappy with the frustration and helplessness within the police service mnajua askari wetu wamekuwa wakijinyonga kwa sababu ya ile matatizo wamepata pale kazini na huyu Matiangi alipewa kazi ya kuchunga hao ako kwa siasa His Excellency the Deputy President ametuambia tuanze kuchukua maoni ya police officers ni nini wanaweza saidiwa kwa sababu the last time walisaidiwa ni wakati ya Mwai Kibaki so tungetaka kuambia police officers wale wako hapa Embu vile mnaweza kuogopa kuonekana na sisi nyinyi ni watu werefu tuchukue ideas mpatie ses mpatie mpatie hawa wengine karemba na nani situfikie na your excellency when we were in akuru yesterday tukitoka nimepata proposal ya police officers pale wanasema hii mambo ya bottom up iletwe kwa police force na wanasema hawa watoto wao wanahangaika kwa sababu ya transfers police officer akiwa embu miezi tatu anapelekwa nyeri natoka nyeri anapelekwa wajia natoka wajia anaenda lamu mtoto anachanganyiki so these police officers are suggesting they have two a boarding facilities ya yeah, officers ya yeah, watoto wa police officers pale gigiri iko gilgil academy na ingine iko embakasi wanasema in the spirit of bottom up uh, uh, model zile shule ni za watoto ya wakubwa ya polisi wanasema tuwawekee kila region boarding school kubwa ya watoto ya polisi wale kutoka constable copro sergeant senior sergeant inspector tukiendelea wapi kwa hivyo hiyo ni maoni inaendelea so we asking the police officers in embu the kenya kwanza government want to restore your dignity kwa hivyo mupeana maoni kwa sababu ni mzuri tujumulishe pamoja tuweze kumwarifu candidate wetu ambaye atakuwa president ajue vile polisi wanaweza saidika nikimalizia adwa ebu mwekuo eh sijui nyinyi watu ya embu mimi naonanga nyinyi mmechanuka lakini mimi nataka tuongee tu ukiona mtu na ila nwari aki atako kutema ile toki ya we harilie eh hii mzee ana sukumo ya kitendawili ni mwingine ama ni yule tunajua ni mwingine ama ni yule tunajua hata akipaa kwa rangi mnaweza achanganyikiwa hata akinyolewa nywele yawekwe wiki eh ni yule yule huyu mtu si babake alisubua mzee Jomo Kenyatta si ni yeye tu si alijaribu kupidua serikali ya Moi si alijificha vile amejificha kwa uhuru akaingia serikali ya Moi alisabaratisha kanu ama hakusabaratisha huyu mzee si alisubua Moi kebake wacha tuseme ukweli kama hii kama hii kitendawili hakuleta fujo kibaki amuita serikali ni yake pale kibaki alituacha si tukakuwa mbele zaidi si alisubua mzee mwai kibaki mara cho mara nusu mkeka mara si alisubua kibaki si alitoa fujo akaingia kwa serikali ya kibaki na fujo si amejipanga tena ameleta fujo 2017 Uhuru akamuita diwa wache fujo. Akajifanya akaingia ndani. Mambo yetu ni kwama ama haiku kwama. Si amesabarisha serikali ya jubilee. Si amelete fujo kwa serikali uhuru amechukia kila mtu. Si project zote zimesimama. Jambo moja sisi hatusasemehea kitendawili. Acha mambo ya kuumba kura. Mambo ya kura hiyo hata haiwezekani. Kumzamehea waja tuseme tulikuwa na program hapa ya stima ya watu ya Mount Kenya ya 3 billion tulikuwa tumesikisana na rais Uhuru Kenyatta ya kwamba we rais tumekutenda mema tumekupenda kama mtoto wetu tumekufanya rais miaka kumi. tunataka ukienda kupumzika kila boma katika Mount Kenya ikuwe na stima tukaweka pesa kando hii kitendawili amekuja ameleta fujo achukue hiyo pesa huyu kijana anaitwa Kemani Ichongwa na huyu Kuria walikuwa kamati ya budget wakaambiwa watoe pesa kwa mlima wapeleke kwa mti ya kitendawili 
ichongwa na kuria wakakataa uhuru wakawafukuza kukakuja hii kijana ya kwetu anaitwa kanini korub umesikia nga yeye mnasikia nga yeye akakuja akakuja akasai ndio pesa yote ile kuria na chungwa alikataa ikapelekwa huko watu wetu sasa uhuru wanaenda kustaafu hakuna stima hiyo hatuwezi samehea wewe kitendawili hii barabara zote zimesimama hapa mount kinya ni pesa yetu pia alichukua akapeleka huko sasa tunauliza huyu mtu ametuumiza amekuja hapa amejificha amepakwa rangi ati amesafishwa mnaweza changanyikiwa mnaweza changanyikiwa sisi nauliza punda hata ikipagwa rangi ya zebra ipakwe rangi ya nini saa ya kutoa ndulu saa kumi. siitalia kipunda siitalia kipunda mimi nataka nimwambie hawa wanapanga huyu kitendawili mujaribu we kuuza yeye pa hali nyingine hapana kwa hii mlima sisi ni watu werevu we cannot make a mistake huyu ni mtu hajatakia sisi mema tangu zamani sasa amejificha kwa dada yetu kwa nani anajaribu kujifanya ati yeye ni si yule ati ni mwingine lakini sisi ni watu ambaye tumeona mbali adwa e bwinyo no muhegesho no muhegesho ndeta kumuria tiriri kwe mudu piyo wa goko ebu we na mutwe mwega urono ya kuagirire ogyo kira makiroko oe karatathi uguo oe ekire mundocio nekore nekore ya mwisho ya mwisho kuna kijana aliongea hapa alikuwa ana plead akaambiwa na deputy president hapana hii ni serikali yetu hii serikali ndio inaundwa na hii serikali ni kama kampuni kampuni unakuwa na shares si ndio unakuwa na nini shares saa hii watu ya kule western na kina musalia wameweka application wametaka watavutiwe 30% ya serikali wamefanya application wameambiwa mkipata shares ya kutosha mtapewa sisi tunataka tufanye application si shares tunatafuta na kura si kura yetu ni mingi milioni saba. hii serikali mnataka tu apply percentage gani eh tu apply percentage gani eh 50 gabi ati yote hapana tuwezi kuwa yote unajua pia lazima tukae na wakenya wengine mimi napendekeza mimi napendekeza tufanye application for 50% of this government but applying is one thing kuleta shares is another na shares yetu si kura hii ni shua beta mabara shua beta ni shua beta mabara shua beta our ownership of this coming government will be determined by the number of votes we cast in favor of William Ruto and and since kitendawili is not an option or is, an, is he an option hapa iko maneno ya kuulizana all we are asking kwa sababu kitendawili hapa tumekataa ni vote turnout usikae nyumbani uanze kusema baadaye oh please let us come out saa kumi vijana yetu ya boda boda wapige fufuzela na filimbi we come we vote for william ruto to aman alafu sasa ndio tukue pale ndio hiyo maneno yote mzuri tumeongea ikuwe reality because it is not done until it is huyu tunampenda tunasema ni mzuri he is not yet president it is the matter is in our hands and for the first time in the history of this country mumepewa nafasi mupanga serikali mumesema what you want si mumesema hivyo mnataka mfanyiwe mwenye kufanya si yako hapa all that is remaining is between what you want and the men who can do it and making it a reality kwa kupigia kura zote finally si msichana yako sawa si yako sawa I have listened to this beautiful girl many times. 
And I want to confirm to you, for the last four years, she has the interest of the people of Ebu at heart. Analia wati Ebu sana. Siku moja maebo ya majanicha ilikuwa bunge tukachelewa, she was calling us crying. Ya kwaba hiyo bili kianguka hajui ya tambia watu ya Ebu nini. Na diyo bimi na uliza nyinyi, William Ruto is not from Gema. Is he? Tunampigia kura because of what is here and what he can do. In that aspect, here we have Embu and Mbere. Nataka kuuliza watu ya Mbere. Vote for this beautiful girl. Not because, not because of where she comes from, but because of what vote is. Tumekubaliana? Kwa sababu, kama tunapigia William Ruto, who is not from here, kwa sababu ya maono na mpango, tunataka pia watu ya mbere, tupigie ses barire, because of the plan she has for the people of Embu. And finally, mujue, finally mujue, si mimi ni mepewa deputy president, kwa ni nitakuwa nikienda kuwagea na William Ruto nikiwa peke yangu? Si kezi yangu itakuwa chini? Ndiyo kezi yangu ikuwe juu, si lazima munipati ya zikari ya kutosha? Si lazima? Ine tafari, tafari otu kwe diya kero kei? No gina koro na atuwa kwe kata? Lazima munipati ya watu. Kwa sababu ujue pale pia, waja tuseme ukweli, pale national resources, ni kutharatuwa shika kata? Ukiwa peke yako utaweza? Si lazima tukue na wabunge? Na gavana, na senator, na MCS. Mutika atutuka ni yaduwa ebu. Mutika atutuka ni ye. Tumesikizana, tuko sawa. Muna tuwamini tutaweza kupigania hakienu katika serikali ya William Ruto. Kabisa. Tumekubaliana. Mambo ya kitedawili watu wangabi wamesema tumekataa kabisa na atuwezi kubali. Na tunafrai, tunafrai sana. Tunamushukuru na kubongeza rais wetu huru kenyata. Finally, he has made the right decision. Ameamua hata kuja hapa kuuza kitenda wili. Na tumefrai. Tumefrai kwa sababu tulikuwa tunaofia. Akija, tutamukosea heshima na hatu kutaka. Sinio? Kwa sababu kama hakekuja kuuza kitenda wili, si hakekosewa heshima. Na hatu taki rais wetu akosewe heshima. Kwa sababu, one, ni mtoto wetu, two, ni kiongozi wetu. Na tungetaka akienda kustafu, aende kama raisi mwaike bake. Kwa he? So the president has made the right decision. President ka state house, tegenesa funguo ya state house, toa fotokopi. Original patia wile muruto, ukae na hile kopi. Siku hile naondoka uweke hapo juu ya mula? Gabi tuwa mula hadime na mwekega. Thank you, Your Excellency. Your Excellency, um, as I call the next uh, speaker, Your Excellency, I would like to speak to you for less than a minute on a very important matter.